I was going to take a nap. Uh, because I'm a college student and I'm tired all the time. But I haven't done a sketchbook video in forever and I want to. Hello my small and humble YouTube channel. It's been a while. Um, I've been in college so I've been busy. I'm out of breath. It's cold in here. I have about an hour till I have to go to class so we're just gonna do it really quickly. Um, and then as I'm going through my sketchbook, I'll just fill you in on my life uh, because that's what I like looking back on these sketchbook videos and why I create them is kind of to look back and look at my art and also talk about like hear myself talk about my life because it's like a time capsule of what I was thinking and feeling and doing with art and also my life in general. Also, this is my wall and my desk and I'm sitting on my bed my wall these are my things let's pray that the audio isn't terrible this is the sketchbook i bought the sketchbook at the bookstore on campus but this says i started on september 20th 2018 finished great so this sketchbook was actually the paper like wasn't amazing it's actually kind of crappy and not great to like draw on at first I kind of stumbled with some drawings because I was like this paper is not great the thing is since the paper wasn't great I didn't care about using it so I just finished I filled this up super fast just like once I started I just like drew non-stop in it basically so there's a lot of bad sketches in here but it really like helped me not be so like paralyzed by you know the quality of paper which is sometimes uh something that can happen for example this sketchbook here is a moleskin sketchbook and so i feel like wasting the paper if i do something ugly on it because it's such nice paper and i don't want to waste it so the sketchbook was good for that purpose uh that it was kind of just like throwaway paper it's almost like in my figure drawing class last semester, I used newsprint to draw and then I didn't really care what I drew because it's newsprint and the paper sucks. So <laughs> I'm not like wasting like really nice paper. Also, I use the sketchbook during the start of Inktober or during throughout Inktober, but I didn't really do any Inktober in here because it's this tiny sketchbook. The sketchbook was a companion sketchbook to my bigger sketchbook, so I would sketch stuff in here and then do it finished in the bigger sketchbook. Anyway, not interesting. But I guess I should update you on my life. Um, so I'm a sophomore in college now. I'm living in an apartment with my three friends and it's going well. I'm, in, I'm studying illustration right now um, and that's going well too. I have a job as a figure drawing model, so that's been fun. I have this idea for um, this fairy godmother character, so I drew her a few times. So yeah, this semester's been good. It was, it's definitely been less stressful than uh, freshman year, but you know, sophomore year has come with its own, you know, stressors, like getting a job that pays enough money for me to pay rent, and like mainly art, that's like a big stressor for me currently. Um, I don't know. I'm at the stage in my art life where, like, I've lost something. <laughs> and I think what I lost is my, like, my fearlessness. Like, when I was younger, I used to be so fearless about what I drew. Because I didn't really care what it looked like. I just loved doing it. And nowadays, if I love doing it, that's great. But it's, like, second to, like, the actual product that comes out of it. Like, comes out of me. I care a lot about what my art looks like now because I have to like give it to people for them to review and like gauge whether or not I'm worth uh, giving scholarships to or entrance to programs. I've sort of been looking at my art a lot more critically because of that and because of now I'm actually getting to a point in my art life where the art I create actually matters because it could mean my livelihood and the job I get and you know so and in high school and middle school that wasn't so much of an issue because because the art I was making was just for me and it was just fun and it's still fun but at what cost you know what I mean <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, that's not what I mean. I mean, art is fun for me, and I love it, and it's my passion. But it's also, hopefully, going to be my job one day, if all goes to plan, which it definitely may not. Now I'm sort of dealing with uh, artistic doubt, which is also tied with doubt for the future, which didn't always used to be the case. Like, I would have doubts about my art, but I still didn't really know what my future holds, and now I'm, like, closer to, like, picking a career and, like, applying for real jobs, and it's just art is tied with my fears about, you know, succeeding in life, which is not fun, because art, I feel distanced from it in a way sometimes, because my art reflects me as a person and a career, and so it's rough. With any creative career, I feel like that's the case. Anyway, this was my, uh, first Inktober sketch. This is a sketch for an actual finished piece um, that I created for Inktober. I didn't really have a theme for Inktober this year, but I did a lot of, I started off pretty strong with like actual finished illustrations. Um, these are some toucans. Anyway, so I started off with some like actual finished illustrations and then sort of went into just doing sketches because I got busy and so. Yeah, I mean, it was really fun to have something to do every day, like, for Inktober. I wouldn't say it was my best Inktober ever, and I still think my best Inktober is yet to come. So, well, I'm looking forward to that. Um, anyway, so I wouldn't say I'm in an art slump in any way. I can still make art. It's more just like I don't know what I want to do with my art in terms of like what specifically I want to create because I'm just learning everything at this point. I'm just like learning how to draw everything and like, I don't even know. It's just like, I want it to be an escape again. You know what I mean? Like art used to be an escape from school, but now art is my school. <laughs> so it has that kind of added stress and I love it. Like I love having art be my school because it's so great. Like to have something that you are passionate about and to be able to like throw yourself into it but that comes with negative aspects of like the grades you get on projects for example I got a bad grade on an art piece that I put like a lot of effort into and that's the first time that's happened uh, in a while um, like getting a bad grade on an art piece because I got bad grades a lot in school I was not very good in math or science, and so I got bad grades. Um, not all the time. Like, in middle school and high school, I'd often get grades that I was disappointed with, but it was because I knew I was bad at that subject, like math or science or even English if I wasn't trying hard. So, but art has always been sort of like a safe bet because I've always been like, a, in middle school and high school especially, I was always like near the top of my class. Um, in terms of like artistic skill and so I was never like stressed that I get a bad grade on an art assignment because their standards weren't very high <laughs> but now that I'm in like college my phone ran out of storage at a random time so I don't know what my last thing was but I was talking about grades and how you can create like a project in class in an art class that you think is great and like you've shown great improvement in and like you think it looks good and you spend a lot of time on it. The thing is, like, in college, uh, obviously, for, like, a major, they have higher standards for what your art looks like, and so sometimes that you run into issues with that. <laughs> and I did recently, getting a bad grade on an assignment that I really thought I did well in, and I just didn't see my own inadequacy in it, I guess. And it really, like, shook me <laughs> more than I would like to admit, because I've been known to be, like, really chill about my grades and not care, and, like, and I think that's, I've always liked that part about myself, that I don't place all of my self-worth in grades. But I do place a lot of my self-worth in my art, which is kind of troubling when it's art is my grades, you know what I mean? When it, it used to not be like that, but now it is. And so I'm sort of running into what people feel when they feel like their grades are their self-worth because my art is sort of, not all of my self-worth, but my art is a big part of it. I'm feeling what people feel that are like straight-A students and they place their worth in like getting perfect grades in all their classes. And I guess I'm running into that now and like, and now I know how it feels. And I'm shook about that, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I'm learning to deal with it. Like that, that one project that I got a bad grade on, I kind of like had a little bit of a tiny mini breakdown. <laughs> 
not really a breakdown. I just like, it sent me into a mini spiral where I was just like, oh, what's going, like, why did I not get a good grade on this when I worked really hard and I like really thought it looked good and do, I, I just thought like, oh, I need to work harder and it really did motivate me. So I think it was kind of what I needed. Anyway, this is my roommate, Catherine. She was sleeping. And I probably shouldn't draw my roommates when they're sleeping, but uh, I do. So that's some heavy stuff that I'm laying on you right now, some heavy art school stuff. But it's it's been, for the most part, really good, and I'm happy with what I'm studying. I'm also not taking that many art classes, I'm taking one major art class, and then a typography class. So I'm not fully immersing myself in art as much as I would like to, but next semester I'll be taking like two major art classes, so I'll feel more like an art major. This was another concept for Inktober. Inktober this year, I think I might have already talked about it a little bit, but like, yeah, it was fun, but I, I feel like I could have given more to it, but you know, I'm busy, I'm a college student, I've got stuff going on, so it was hard to like fully commit. If I was like a full-time illustrator, I think I would have, you know, given it all, given it my all, but I did create some stuff I was happy with, just not every day, um, so it's fine. But it's fine not to create stuff you like every day, you know what I mean? Like, it's not always gonna be the case. We were watching a Bollywood movie called Som Sometimes Happy, Sometimes Sad, but in Hindi, so I don't know what that exactly translates to, um, and it was really great. <laughs> anyway, so... Yeah, I'm in kind of a weird spot with art, and have been for a while, possibly all of college, but I just continually am motivated to, like, be better. We're joined by Catherine. <laughs> what is this? You don't know my sketchbook videos? You watch them, don't you? You don't? Oh, they have Anyway, here are my sketches from October. And Catherine's here now, watching over my shoulder. <laughs> Thanks, Catherine. To wear a class. Cool. Yep. Sorry, my roommate Catherine kind of interrupted, rudely interrupted my sketchbook video, so we're just gonna finish it up really quick. Which direction was I going in? This direction. Okay. So, as I said, it was October and I got kind of briefly obsessed with the Bride of Frankenstein. There she is. We watched uh, Young Frankenstein and then that sort of just like spawned my brief obsession with her. There's another one. This was a sketch of a dream I had that I went to Io, one of Jupiter's moons, because I'm in an astronomy class, so it sort of pops up in my dreams sometimes. Um, even though I, I woke up and I looked up the moon Io, and it's like a very, it has like sulfuric, sulfuric acid, guy, like sulfur geysers on it, and like it's a very active moon and very unsafe for any human, but it was still a cool dream. Little Charlie Brown. We just watched Charlie Brown, the Great Pumpkin, for Halloween. This was a sketch inspired by an outfit I wore one day. I have this giant witch coat that I wear in winter when I wear dresses, um, and it's it makes me feel like the makes me feel like the witch, the White Witch from Narnia every time I wear it. Oh, this was a whole thing. The like set pictures for this scene came out for the next Spider-Man movie and I like lost my entire mind because I love Zendaya. She's like my current favorite celebrity and I love her and I love Spider-Man Homecoming. So just, and I love Michelle and Peter. So it was just like a perfect storm of cute. And so I did that for one of my October days. Cause oh my goodness, I'm so used to giving and now I get to receive. There's another one. I just like was in disbelief that these were actually like real pictures that I was able to see. They were so precious and saved my life. Some watercolor. Okay, I'm gonna try to finish this sketchbook in under a minute. From now, I mean. I bought these spooky Halloween earrings from a Halloween pop-up shop and I had some spider earrings and that's what inspired this sketch. It's finally fall weather, which means uh, you can breathe like a dragon and also wear hats. There's a sketch that I watercolored a little bit. I don't really like the proportions of this drawing, but who cares? Another spider earrings. More spider earrings. I was really on a spider earrings kick. 
there was an Inktober sketch. Just a witch lady. Another Inktober sketch, but I never posted this one. It was just kind of a doodle. Another sketch I never posted. Sketch that I watercolored. This was a sketch I failed to finish in Inktober, but I'm gonna do it one day because I like the idea. But it's basically just a witch losing control of her broom. I had an idea about a witch and her vampire boyfriend, um, but I never finished that one either. <laughs> I had a few loose end ideas that I couldn't get to this Inktober, unfortunately. The gravity of this pose did not work at all. Vampire plus witch, BFGF, yeah, that was my idea. There they are again, the witch and the vampire. That's a good idea, but I, I have yet to finish it. Mood, isn't that just a mood? This was right, oh, this was right after I found out the bad grade I got. I just went into a spiral, quite literally. Wow, I'm so shallow, all I care about is grades. I, I ordered some ink pens. I used to have these ink pens that are, let's see, I have one here, don't I? I have these ink pens that are like half gray ink and half uh, black ink, and I can't really read the Japanese. I should be able to, I think this says like, this is gonna be wrong, but I think it says Futayaku, Futayaku, I could be wrong, but yeah. There are these pens that I used in Japan that I love, and then I found a website that actually sells them. So I bought two of them, and they were shipped to my home, and I used them for the rest of Inktober, and I love them a lot. One of my roommates left this semester, so she left a bunch of pens behind, so I was testing them out to see which ones I wanted to keep. There's an ink sketch. There's an Inktober drawing. That one I actually did use for Inktober. Uh, it's basically just like a Franken girl. There's another girl. No idea why her shirt says soup. Another drawing I did for Inktober. My Inktober strategy is just swap out doodling with pencils for doodling with pens. You know what I mean? So it's not that hard for me because I doodle all the time. But this year I was actually trying to create finished pieces, which I did some. Yep, that's the finished. That's I think this is my final page. There were, oh no, there's a little more. This is in ballpoint pen. Yeah. Ballpoint pen. And then I think that's the last like little sketch. And then the back pages I kind of use just for like writing down stuff that so I don't forget it. Anyway, that's my most recent small sketchbook. Thank you for watching myself from the future.